There, I'm Dave Berry and you are watching Verge magazine and you're watching it online. So today I'm with the Dave Berry himself, we are very lucky readers. So Dave, can you tell us a bit about yourself and your upbringing so us Verge readers can get to know the real you? Nicely put Rosalind. Thank you. Hello Verge readers, how are you? <laughs> um, myself and my upbringing, well I was born on a cold September's evening um, a few years back uh, in Lewisham Hospital in South East London. I remember it well. And that was the day that broadcasting on television and radio would change forever. Not bigging yourself up at all, <laughs> though, are you? <laughs> no, I didn't say it changed for the better, Rosalind. Oh, okay. That was what you were resuming. It changed for the worse. No, so that was where I was born and I went to school in and around South London. Mm -hmm. And then I uh, got my break on television on Nickelodeon, which is the Kiss TV channel. Mm -hmm. uh, made the Rugrats famous. And then I moved from there to MTV. Right. Uh, God bless those lovely people. <laughs> and then I went to T4. Uh, and along with the TV stuff, I did a radio show on XFM which is a kind of indie and rock and roll station, which is situated just at the end of the corridor there. Okay. And now I host a breakfast show on ah. London's number one, Capital FM. Which is your favourite? Which is my favourite radio station. Yeah. This one, this most one. definitely this one, Great Rosalind. Time. Which is your so favourite radio station? Definitely this one. So how was the transition then from model to presenter? How did that work? Was that a easy transition for you? Was you used to being in front of the camera? Wasn't used to doing either. Um, the, the presenting thing came along because uh, I met a guy uh, at the football, I was watching Charlton Athletic um, yeah. win on this rare occasion and uh, I met a guy who was a producer director at Nickelodeon mm -hmm. and he thought that I would work well. I went along and did the audition just like I would any other kind of casting, I had no idea or interest really in presenting and uh, they liked the way that I interacted with Rude the Reindeer mm -hmm. and Bogey who were two puppets. So You've got your hand in loads of pies, so you're a TV presenter, you're a radio presenter yes. for Capital, you're a journalist, if I, write, if I read correctly, or you do a bit of journalism. I write the occasional article. So, what is your general day-to-day? -day? I have a tailor's as well, don't forget about that. Right, okay. Yeah, I own October House English Tailors, you should check them out there, we're, we're good. self-promoting. We're really As far as the journalist stuff goes, not really as far as in, you know, I don't do stuff for newspapers, but I, I kind of write columns from time to time for websites and I do the occasional blog for Huffington Post or, or whatever. Um, so I quite enjoy that and that's a nice thing to do when when I finish the show at like 10 o'clock and I haven't got anything else to do it's nice to go and find a little little bar get a glass of red get the iPad out and just kind of like talk about what's been happening you know to me over the last couple of weeks so I do enjoy that side of it. So say someone stepped into your shoes what would they expect what's your general routine what time do you get? Um, no well I get up my alarm goes off at 10 to 5 in the morning uh, Monday to Friday um, and then you get up you get dressed and you come to Capital, which is here in London's Leicester Square, uh, do the radio show, and then normally get in a taxi and mm -hmm. go to some kind of studio to film some kind of TV stuff. Mm -hmm. um, or I'll walk around to October House and find out, you know, what we've been doing that week and, you know, who we've made fabulous suits for and check out what kind of tyres we've got in and get all like a giddy schoolboy about it. <laughs> um, or, which is the best thing in the world, because I may get up early, and I know many of you will get up even earlier than that, but when you finish work at 10am, mm -hmm. it is the single greatest... 10 a.m. Oh, My show finishes at 10 a.m. So if I finish at 10 a.m. and I have nothing else to do, like talk to you lovely people at Verge, mm -hmm. then the day is my own and it's just really liberating because then you can go to the gym. Your producer goes to the same gym as me. <laughs> ah, <laughs> looking buff there, Angel. Um, so the buff ting, so go and hang out with them. Uh, and then, you know, I can either do a little bit of writing or I can just go home sit in my pants and play FIFA 30. So I don't know if you know, but Verge magazine is a student magazine and mm -hmm. quite a lot of our readers to aspire and to get where you are now. What advice would you give them? Well, my advice would be to, to kind of stay strong, don't lose heart, mm -hmm. keep going. And as you can probably tell them, Rosalind, it's also important that you have in your phone or wherever you keep your diary, even if you've got an old school paper diary like I favour, it's important to fill things into that diary so that you don't just end up having endless FIFA days and mm -hmm. endless days at the pub. It's important to try and get that meeting for Tuesday, try and get that thing in for Wednesday and then slowly but surely you'll find that your diary will start to fill up and that's when you know things start to get busy and that in my mind is when things start to get exciting. Mm. Last but final but most important question, Go. what is next for Dave Berry? What, what is next for, for Dave Berry? Um, I am... We're doing more Surprise Surprise, Holly Willoughby and I, Good. which is back on ITV1. We start s filming that next month. Um, I'm about to start on a new comedy panel show, which Matt Lucas from Little Britain's making oh, yeah. for mm -hmm. us, uh, which is called Battle of the Ages. Um, we shoot the pilot for that uh, tomorrow, okay. actually. So there's, there's those two things. Um, October House, my tailors, is hopefully going to be uh, 
become the official tailors for a very large sports team, a globally known sports team that mm. I can't talk about at the moment. Well, we'll definitely keep watch for you, and I'm sure our readers love you as much as that I do personally. And good luck. For Rosalind, it was rocky in the middle, but you pulled <laughs> out of the bag at the end. Thank you very much no indeed worries. for your time. Thank nice you. meeting you all.